Okay, this is going to be quick because I only have 11 minutes left on this card. But here you go. This is a Gene Simmons. And it's been gentrified. And if anybody knows about Gene Simmons and his customization, they'll know who exactly who Gentry is. So he did this for me custom. Signed it, dated it, and everything. So this is worth a lot of money. Because he was only supposed to do it for Simmons. And he had the mold ready. And he did one for me. It's all hand painted. And I was going to have blood painted on. And then uh, I knew a guy that did uh, decals. So I have blood decals. So I, if I want to ever restore it back to... I pop this on, I pop the back, old thing back on, peel these off, put the new, the original knobs, and it's all exactly as I, I have Kiss on the back of this. Oh, it's upside down there, isn't it? So, here is the Gene Simmons Axe. I think I've made a video of it. I've even got a video of it, me dressed up in the Alive costume. No makeup. This is my axe keychain. Of course, I wouldn't put it on a keychain because I would lose it. So I'm running out of time. So let's just do some Gene sounds. Now, I blacked out, but everybody knows he uses EMG pickups. So depending on the base you get, it could be EMGs, it could be just black, which is where some of the uh, set store Spencers, and then Mighty Might for the courts. I've got a Punisher court, Punisher. This has been gentrified, that's why it says KISS. But... Uh, this is, I want you guys to get a good look at that tailpiece, because that is very cool looking. And he's only made a couple. Gene's got one. Gene gave one to somebody that, you know, paid, I think, 10 grand for it. You know, because this is the one he spits blood on. Blood. And there you go. I'm not paying 10 grand for nothing from Kiss, especially now. So I'm just running through my guitar amps. I didn't want to hook up the amp peg. I got a basic. Sound, but I'm not gonna spit blood, so we'll just do this till the tape runs out. Let's do pick, because he always uses a pick. but now he uses something else. I've already ordered it. I should have it in a couple of weeks. It's a digital, but it's, it mimics very well, even better than MXR Echoplex. So I'm going to try that, but it's going to be really hard. I'll have to have it right here. Because you know how it goes... I can't reach it. So...
What's going on? Please stop. stupid without the blood and flying around and being fat and millionaire doesn't quite have this effect but so I had uh, you know the rings in they're out but this is about as close as you can get to uh, stage uh, he actually has this popped or this popped out and he has the input jack put here. So he's just got one volume, nothing input. So he's running two. That's why I'm running two, because that's the sound he get you get is all of his pickups. The dude is not a you know, but he's a good bass player because he's been playing the same songs for fifty friggin' years almost. But uh yeah. His bass solos aren't are for show. So I thought I'd just give you a little taste of it and see this beautiful piece of work because it's been gentrified, which brought it way up in value from just a plain Gene Simmons axe. So you got a good look at that? Look at the bass, not me. I know I'm very beautiful, but you got to look at the bass. Keep your eye on the prize. All right? Try to get the TV out of the way. And those are just the decals. Because I wouldn't want to screw it up by putting blood and that kiss on the back. That's also a decal. I would never, nothing's painted. Everything can be restored immediately back. And I could sell this off. But of course, more money. I get more money with this, so of course I'd sell it back. And if somebody makes the right offer for this Gene Simmons bass, you can have it. Because I'm getting sick of collecting, even though I've got a Vinnie Vincent on order right now. There you go. The Gene Simmons Axe.